Okay. Part two of the most interesting documentary in the world. The beer line clean. Okay, so these have all been steeping in the beer line cleaner for three hours now. We've connected them all back up to the wall and to the, to the water inlet. So now we're just going to pull them through at the bar until each one of them runs clear. So you need your big bucket again. Stick one in here. Two at once is easy enough. You'll see that they come out dark brown. That means they've been cleaning. Do the same with these ones. It depends on the beer. These are quite light ones, so these are much more pink. These are darker, so they come out much darker as well. Once they're running clear, let them run for about 30 seconds more each. That way, at least we know that the uh, beer line is out of the out of the lines completely. Yeah, they're good. Once they're all nice and clean, and they're running through the water back into here, and we're going to connect each one of these back to the respective kegs. This will take me a little while. And also remember to take the gas out of that keg and put it back on the keg which you took it from. Perfect. And then with this keg, which should now be nearly empty, take it out of the way and flip this bad boy up. And let that purge until it's completely out. So once they've all been connected back up to the top, and there's nothing left in the wall, it's time to head back to the bar. And then once again, we've got to pour them all through again. This time you want to get until it's pouring pure beer. And you want to pour at least maybe two pints through. So all the beer line cleaner is definitely out of the system. So this should be about right now. Perfect. And that is drinkable. And just do the rest with the same. Or the same with the rest even. And then once you've done that, head back to that little keg. By now it should have completely discharged. And should be back to normal pressure. We should be able to there we go. pop that. Get rid of the rest of the contents down the drain. And then that's it, back to normal. Make sure you turn the super chiller back on. Otherwise all your beer will be warm. And it also frosts up if this isn't on, because this kind of it's kind of like a pump as well. Uh, if that's not on, you'll find your beer is way too frothy. So if your beer comes out really frothy and you can't stop it from exploding, double check your super chiller, make sure it's still back on. The end.